Okay, so let's trade this uh, free horse race. Uh, these are wonderful to trade because um, you can see a very, very direct correlation here between one horse going up and one horse going down in price. Uh, so what we'll do first is I'm gonna, probably going to jump on the favorite there uh, because you can see the favorite has been drifting for quite some time, or rather the, 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 the original favorite. Um, so I'm going to hop in here on the back side of the uh, uh, the first horse here for 500, uh, just to see if I can scalp out a quick trade there, uh, because he ha it has come in rather quickly in the few last few seconds. But overall, it has been drifting, um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on the back side here real quick uh, in the hope to sort of jump on the wave here of this horse crashing in. You can see there, very frustrating. You know, I made the right call, but I just I I only got the 100 pound stake in there, not the full 500. Um, and so I'll just scratch that and uh, move on, okay? Uh, because again, w w when you only have uh, three horses in the race, uh, the markets are certainly very erratic. And you can see that by the fact that each horse has a, has a very big traded range. Um, and so with these here, it is advisable to get in and out as fast as you can, uh, unless you're um, uh, comfortable leaving your trade, hoping for a long, long swing trade. Uh, but obviously that depends on the view and what your sort of immediate goals are. <clears throat> and so what I'll do next here, guys? I'm just sitting and waiting. I'm waiting for opportunity. I'm looking for a drift. I'm looking for a steam. I'm looking for a horse to move uh, so I can make an, a, an opposing trade on one of the other horses. Um, I'm actually, I've, I've actually got my eye here on the third favorite, the Caddy Hill at uh, 10.5, uh, because it has, you know, you can see by the graph, it has drifted out all the way from sixes and sevens all the way to 10. And, um, you can see that uh, it, it does, you know, for me, uh, I'm, I'm really tempted to jump on the 10.5 uh, just because I know for a fact that because the first two favorites are so closely priced, um, it will have an impact on its horse here. So I'm just going to jump on there because I can see I can see the second favorite now is drifting and uh, the favorite is not drifting. <clears throat> and you can see here my, my trade's been taken and this one here should now cross over the 10. Even if it's just for you know, one one tick, uh, that's enough for me to scalp out a quick trade there. <clears throat> because you can see now, you can see the favorite is coming in a little bit. The second favorite is drifting, uh, but the favorite isn't crashing in. Okay, and that's because there's money now coming in for this third favorite, Caddy Hill. And there you go. You see, it matched, and now it's you know, it's uh, just bouncing around on a ten there, um, which is fine. Um, and so I'll, I'll bring my attention back here now to the second favorite. Uh, the golden boy gray and you can see it's, it's certainly drifting out you can see that it's drifting out so i'm going to jump i'm going to try and jump in here for a quick scalp here because it's drifting it's drifting i'm just waiting for my opportunity here because if you look at the favorite it's approaching the two okay and if the favorite comes close to the two marks let's say 2.6 then there's going to be resistance there which means it's probably going to stall, stall which means the second favorite is going to stop drifting for a moment and come back in a little bit and so i'm going to hop in here now uh, very very soon for 500 pounds um, just to see if I can scalp out here one or two ticks, uh, because you can see now that the favor has stalled at 2.8, and so the chances are <clears throat> uh, this one here is now going to stall for a little bit as well. Okay, uh, so there we go. Okay, so in and out very quickly, uh, because like, like I mentioned before, these markets are very erratic, uh, so it's best to get in and out very fast, because otherwise you do end up in an awkward, awkward position. So you can see now I've got a free trade on all horses, 35 on Caddy Hill, uh, 10 pounds on Golden Boy Grey, um, <clears throat> and uh, four pound on the favorite. Uh, this moment here, you know, I'm, I'm sitting quite nicely, right? I've got a nine pound profit uh, if, if, I, if I green up across the board. Uh, and now I'm, I'm just gonna sit here and just wait for an opportunity. I'm looking for a big drift. I'm looking for something. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but it certainly does look like the horses are now settling in. You can see the favorite is now stuck on the 2.08. Uh, um, th Caddy Hill is just still on the 10 mark, the 10.5 and 10. And the Golden Boy in the middle there is just set settling in around the 2.36 mark. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just going to hang back here a little bit and see, you know, see what I can look for. And so you can see here, uh, this the favorite is hovering down the bottom of the range there, uh, but it doesn't seem to want to go past 2.06. You can see there, it's just it's just sitting there, sitting there. No one, <laughs> it's just this is not moving, right? So uh, it'll be, it, it will be interesting to see if this here now crashes through the two, because uh, that would obviously uh, be a great opportunity for me to either back it um, or lay it, uh, depending on uh, the volume of bets coming in. <clears throat> But you can see they're just not moving. They're 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 stuck there. Um, 
they don't want to move. You can see that now the favorite is drifting, the second favorite is coming in. And so this here could be a good point for me to scalp out a quick profit here on either the favorite or the second favorite. Um, just have a quick little think here. Like I said, the market does move fast, so you do need to be on your toes. And you can see that's coming back down again. Uh, so, yeah, so I probably just going to leave this here now because it's coming up to 90 seconds on the clock. I can't, I don't, I don't really feel comfortable going back in again uh, because I'm, I'm not spotting anything. Uh, I, I did spot something in, the, in a few seconds ago, but I, I just didn't act in time. I didn't actually get into the market. Um, so at this point here, I've got three, four pound profit there, 10 pound on second pivot, 35 pound free bet on the caddy hill. Um, so I'm quite comfortable now, I think, just to leave it. I'll probably just uh, green this up and I'll take the nine pound profit. <clears throat> Um, and I'll just move on to the next race uh, because at this point here, there's nothing really I can see. Uh, and when it comes to doing any kind of in-play trade here, because because there's only three horses, uh, again, I'm, I don't really see anything or I don't really com feel comfortable uh, trading that. You can see the lining up here. There's no real discernible interest in uh, who's going to be the front runner. I can't really tell uh, because they're all, they're all lining up together. Uh, so with this here, guys, I'm just going to leave this here now and move on to the next race. Okay.